In this question we're told a bag contains 10 sweets, of which 5 are red, 3 are green and 2 are yellow. Anne chooses a sweet and random from the bag and immediately puts it in her pocket so no one can see what colour it is. Betha then chooses a sweet at random from the remaining 9 sweets. We want to first of all calculate the probability that Anne chooses a green sweet. So for part A, probability that Anne chooses a green is just equal to, well there are 3 green and she can choose any three from ten. Part B. Part B says find the probability that Bethan chooses a yellow sweet. So first of all we've got to consider what could happen in this situation because Anne is going to choose before Bethan chooses. So we can either have that Anne chooses yellow and Bethan chooses yellow Or Anne chooses a non-yellow and Bethan chooses yellow. Now since these are mutually exclusive events we can add those two different probabilities together and the way we calculate those two probabilities is that they are uh, is by multiplying their probabilities together. So probability that Anne chooses yellow is going to be 2 out of 10 times by, well there's now 9 sweets remaining one of the yellows has been chosen so there's only 1 over 9 yellow sweets at probability of a, picking a yellow sweet second we're then going to add the probability of Anne not picking a yellow so not picking a yellow will be 8 over 10 multiplied by and again this is out of 9 because there are only 9, sweet, nine sweets left but at this point 2 of them a yellow. So now if we multiply through what we should get is 18 over 90 which simplifies to 1 fifth. Okay part C. Part C says Anne and Bethan choose sweets of different colours. So the probability let's just say different now on this one we can actually use combinations and all we need to know is that is what combinations of sweets can we pick in order to have two different sweets and the order doesn't matter because it doesn't matter whether Anne picks yellow and Bethan picks green or whether Anne picks green and Bethan picks yellow so this is going to be equal to the probability of red green or red yellow or the remaining one, so we've done red and green, we've done red and yellow, so the remaining one is green and yellow. And remember the order doesn't matter on these, so at this point I can actually use combinations. So the probability of a red green is going to be probability of red, which is 5 choose 1, times by the probability of a green, which is 3 choose 1. I'll put that in brackets. So that's the number of ways we can pick red green, where order doesn't matter, plus probability of red yellow, which is going to be 5 choose 1, multiplied by this time there are two yellows, so there's going to be 2 choose 1. And then again, plus, and finally, the number of ways we can pick green yellow, which is going to be 3 greens choose 1, multiplied by 2 yellows choose 1. Now, what I've got here is a summation. This represents all the different ways that we can pick two different colours. What I want to do is divide that by all the possible things that can happen. And so that is over 10, choose 2, because we are going to have, we have 10 sweets and we are going to choose two of them. Okay, now, if you work through this carefully, type it into your calculator and calculate it, you should get an answer of 31 over 45. Okay then, so let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. Probability that Anne chooses a green is three tenths is one standalone mark. Then probability that Beth chooses a yellow, we get a method mark and an accuracy mark for the correct calculation. So this idea of looking at the two different possible ways that Bethan could choose a yellow. And we get an answer mark for getting a final answer of one fifth. And then part C, we get a method mark and an answer mark 
for the correct use of combinations. There is an alternative way, but I've chosen to use combinations. And then an answer mark if you've got a 31 over 45. Okay, well, I hope that all made sense and it was able to follow the solution and how to mark it.